Welcome back once again to Nostalgic Nomads. I'm Maverick. I'm Pluto. I'm Nova. And we are jumping back into the world of Blair Witch, or the Blair Witch, depending on who you are and how nitpicky you are, but. Copyright. Copyright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did not make this game. Did we not. We just played it. Mm -hmm. Do you have your phone? Me? Me? Or whoever was I have timing it last it. time. Okay. okay, cool. All right, we are back. Red. Red. Wine. It flash. Roja. Yes. Roja. See. Si. Yeah, we speak Spanish. <laughs> Just kidding. We don't. At least it's, I don't. It's one thing to speak it. It's another to speak it fluently. Ah, it's donde fair. esta bicicleta? Esto un baño. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Yo quiero patata bufanda. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, you said a scarf and a what? You said you want something scarf. You I don't... want potato scarf? <laughs> That's what I thought it was. What? <laughs> no, I don't want a potato I scarf. I want a potato scarf. Yes. I will take it and I will eat it. <laughs> yes. Oh my word. Then it will keep uh, my stomach warm. I say that and it'll like freak the kids out. They're like, you speak Spanish? And I'm all like, yes, I do. See? <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, that's right. That's right. Crazy man. Crazy oh, yeah. serial killer man. Yeah. I said come in, Ellen. Shut up, Carver. That's right. I think I was pissed at him last time. Hey there, sleepyhead. Hey, hey. What do you want? feeling about this. Patient in for monthly appointment in relation to his anxiety neurosis. Seems kept in check. Again, no discussion of the woods or his friend. Dissociative amnesia. No, uh, amnesia. No, no. Amnesia worsening. I admit this patient is beginning to concern me. Everyone seems to have moved on, but the fact that he does not talk about the woods at all is almost eerie. He has become interested in hiking, hunting, was offered scholarships out of state, but does not want to leave town. Something is keeping him here. Weird. What is keeping him here? Yeah. Not easy. That's strange. Well, hi, kitty. There's a cat next to me. Here we have another poo stick. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Got a whole collection, man. A whole collection. He's just like carrying them around with him. <laughs> Hi, Bola. What do you see? It's always the creepiest when pets are just staring at nothing, but they're staring so intensely. Oh, gosh. This one does that. <laughs> He'll stare up at the corner, and there'll be nothing there. And I'm all like, what are you doing? And he'll just kind of be like... I was like, is there a ghost? Is there a demon? Do I need to, like, get my Bible? What do what we need to do? Weebly is freaking out on Pluto. He's, like, just having a spaz attack or something. <laughs> my child. Child, hush. Oh, my word. Apologies for him. Oh, you're Son good. Bitch. There's a camera. There is a camera. Oh, he broke my screen. Well, that's just crappy. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the kid staring at the corner. Where's SpongeBob? <laughs> you, you, you've fallen far, Patrick. What has become of you? <laughs> We're fallen far from grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my word. Oh yeah, so we we're gonna save this conversation for on microphone, but we, me and Pluto watched the uh, Treasure Island Muppets for the first time the other night. I still haven't seen it. <laughs> it was. <And> it's <laughs> oh, go ahead. <laughs> it was an experience. It was. It was kind of a masterpiece. <laughs> but 
It also felt like, and this, let me be clear, I've never done acid in my life. <laughs> and I imagine watching that movie is what act, doing acid must be like. <laughs> Just, it was, like I said, this is like zero hate against it. It was a very well-made, funny movie. It was very entertaining, yes. But oh my word. And who was the guy who played Long John Silver? Tim Curry. Oh my gosh, he was fantastic. He was so hilarious in that thing. He's the best part of that whole movie, to be honest. He was, he was, um, he was like do, doing like 110% effort in Absolutely. that. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a post too, and I shared it on our, on not our Discord, but another Discord, and um, it's a... Uh, the difference between the Muppets Christmas Carol. Did you ever see that one? I never seen that one. I am I'm very, very uncultured when it comes to movies. That's valid. Also, um, until yesterday the only Muppets movie Pluto and I had ever seen was indeed the the Christmas Carol one. Okay. And I got so freaked out as a kid, that ghost of Christmas future. Mm, yeah. It looks like the Grim Reaper. It scared me so bad as a kid. Fair. I hated that movie because of that. Yeah. Oh my god, I looped this in a circle. Good job. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I hate this map so much. Oh gosh. It's, it's all rotten. But how? It would have taken years for But sorry, you were back. saying about the, uh... Yeah, um, Muppet movie. Oh, uh, the post said something like, I think it was John Kane is the is Scrooge in the Muppet Christmas okay. Carol. But um, and then Tom Curry or Tim Curry, not Tom Curry. Tim Curry is the main one of the main human actors in the Treasure Island one. But it essentially said that John Kane was so good in in the Christmas Carol, or like that was so good because he treated the Muppets as fellow actors, mm -hmm. whereas Tim Curry basically became a Muppet and why that one was so good. They're like, and then they're like, please discuss. And the person underneath was like, nope, no need. You got everything. You got that correct. There's no need to discuss. You're correct. Yeah, no. And honestly, yeah, he, he became a Muppet. That's funny. And I think you, I think it makes sense with the acid trip thing because the, the Treasure Island Muppet movie is a musical as well. So they would do these musical numbers just suddenly out of nowhere and it was a strange, discombobulating experience. <laughs> Discombobulate. Let's leave it alone. Yeah, a little bit. It, it was, too. Yeah. And I remember our friends being that had seen it before, like, I'm going to sing through the whole movie. I'm like, what? It's a musical? Like, I knew it was coming, but it was still... And I love musicals. Oh, same. But it was still a little like, wait, what? Like, what a minute. It's like, is it necessary to sing this? The answer is no, but just because something isn't necessary doesn't mean it, it's not great. That's fair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you loop back around again? I did. Maverick. I'm having a hard time. He says go to the tree, and I'm trying to remember which way the tree is. That's valid. I, I'm, I'm the last person to judge anybody's sense of direction. Well, that'd be nice if there was a compass. It'd be nice if there was a map. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Like, he like contacts you again he's like you haven't done it he's like dude i can't find it i can't find it this place is looping <laughs> that's the horror movie thing if like someone is neurodivergent and they're like okay you need to follow these specific steps and they're all like wait i, I can't write this down what and then they don't contact them and they're like huh? and the bad guy like calls them like hours later and they're like why haven't you done these things i'm like i tried I tried, I like, swear. It's like, listen, do you not understand how ADHD works? What are you talking about? Look, I tried to go where you said, but I ended up at a McDonald's in a, in a laundromat. <laughs> and then I got hungry, and then I needed to do my laundry, so I stayed. <laughs> it's like, do you, do you not care? No, I do. <laughs> I just, you know, object permanence is a thing, and like, you know. Oh, gosh. The wonderful wizard of Oz. <laughs> so you know the people that, uh, speaking of musicals, the people that made the the guy that didn't like musicals, have you seen that? Ooh. No, I haven't. I've yeah, seen it. Star Kids? Yes. Yeah. They came out with like a prequel musical called Nerdy Prudes Must Die. 
Oh my gosh. That came out a little bit ago, and one of my friends was telling me, one of like my online friends was telling me about it, and they're like, you totally need to see it, and I was like, yes, I do. But if you haven't seen it, if we finish this game and we still have like a decent amount of time before you guys have to get going, I highly recommend us watch it. Martin? Martin? <laughs> Because basically, it's like the premise of the musical, and if anyone out there is listening to this and you haven't seen the guy that didn't like musicals, watch it, because it's great. Uh, the premise uh, is about this guy who doesn't like musicals, and everyone around him just one day starts singing like they're in a musical, and he doesn't know why. And so it's his living nightmare that everything is turning into a musical before his very eyes. And is there anything I'm missing of the main plot that you can, without giving it away? Like. I, I think that's about it. Like, it, it's kind of spreading like an infection, mm -hmm. the musical stuff. So, like, it's, uh, I don't want to give anything away too much, but it's it's pretty entertaining. That's amazing. Yeah. I will, I will give a warning, though. There is kind of like a slight body horror thing involved as well. I don't know if Nova would uh, like. Oh yeah. Yeah, because I I know sometimes you like to stay away from certain stuff like that. Oh. Like it was a it was a like a fake guts thing. Guts don't bother me like, as you, much. You know that Monty Python skit where they're like, we must like take your organs. We're here to take. Oh. Your, like, it's kind of like that. Okay, well, as long as I know it's coming, like, that particular thing, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm usually fine. Yeah, no, because otherwise I would have introduced it to you a, a while back, but I was worried that you might not be the biggest fan of that. That's valid, actually, yeah, especially if, yeah, no. And there's, and there's certain things, like body horror, that I really just don't like, and that's, that's one I feel like, especially if it's done in a comedic way. Yeah, the whole thing is satirical and comedic. Yeah, like, okay. You have like characters that are succumbing to the infection of the musical sort of thing, and they're all like they got like blue goo coming out their mouth, and they're like, oh, and then they start singing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's 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 kind of it's <laughs> it's I, hard to explain. Well, it's kind of like an invasion. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, because there there are. Let's just say entities behind this. That makes sense. Okay, yeah. interesting. Yup. I think she would like. I'm trying to remember her name, but it's the main one of the main characters that works at the Starbucks who's just done with life. Just like, yep. I hate it here. I hate my job. <laughs> just like, oh I think God. you would love her. She's all just like. Oh gosh. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to remember her name, but. Well, and I re remember too. Like they're like, okay, every time someone tips you, you got to do a little song and dance. Oh gosh, no. Thank you. Yup. And so she starts doing it, he's all like, wait, 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 you don't have to do that, I don't like that. And she's all like, oh, thank God. <laughs> Just kind of like, I was getting tired of doing it, sort of thing. Oh my gosh. I'm so, I, I, like I said, I used to work as a barista in a chain coffee shop mm -hmm. that I don't want to say the name of, because, you know, yeah. I don't want anybody to sue me in case I say something negative, and trust me, I have negative things to say. Um, not even against, like, the company necessarily, but just, like, my experience working there. I think it's the case of any fast food or like coffee shop or like retail i think anybody who works there is going to have horror stories but yeah um oh cat hi what was the main point what were we talking about oh Starbucks. oh sorry <laughs> <Bleep that out>. <laughs> <laughs> so, um you're talking about that oh and if I had to do a sing and dance every single time, so, like, for something, for anything, I would have quit so much faster than I actually did. <laughs> because I can't, I can't. And again, I'm somebody who was in theater, mm -hmm. likes musicals, and can kind of, and can, like, carry a tune. Like, it's not like, it's not even like I think I would be, like, bad at it necessarily, but the idea of doing it like that often and like in public we're like no yeah no you're there to to work and your work does not allude to doing anything musical related no uh-uh and also too like i don't want to have oh to my god. oh my god oh my god to stop the stories and uh, try and navigate the forest. I don't know. <laughs> no, 
Okay. I literally am turning different directions each time, and it takes me here every time. What the heck? Is there a particular way you felt that was kind of getting you somewhere, or? Bullet, where should we go? Bullet, help. Bullet, you're not helping. Oh, my gosh. Well, and I was, because you, you encountered some photographs, so I lost I think it was like new Easter eggs of like places we hadn't been yet. Oh, okay. I'm trying to regroup here. Uh, okay. Apologies, this episode is going to be a lot of just us talking and me wandering around like a fool, <laughs> but. So yeah. Good. Um, yeah, maybe we should like do process of elimination. So you're going to. So, so I went up that way and that didn't do anything. I'm trying okay. to get back to the dumb tree. <laughs> maybe just go up. Maybe, can you just forego the paths all together and just, like, cut through the forest behind the tent? I can try. I don't know if that will actually work. Uh, probably not. Probably not. We want you to take some path. We're just not sure what path. Yeah, there's an invisible wall yeah. right okay, here. How many, how many paths from this uh, clearing are there? So there's, like, one, two, three, four... Like four paths. Okay, so there's four paths. So I say we choose one, even though you've probably gone down all of them, and try to explore all other possible branches off it might have. Yes, yes. I agree. Okay, okay so, so we're going down the one directly across from the tent, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, okay let's do this. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh, is that a fork in the road? Yeah, yeah, so left or right. So do you remember which way you went before? That way it'll loop us back to the camp, I know for sure, I'm okay, pretty sure. Okay, so let's so, go right then. Yeah, let's try right. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, was that another branch? Like, that other... Does that lead somewhere? Or, nope, it's water. Okay. Yeah, water. Okay. I don't feel like going for a swim, so... Yeah. Well, this one's water, too, apparently. Water! Water. Maybe this one? No. Are you serious? <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, but if we here's the deal, if we find enemies, that probably means we're going the right way. Yeah. True. Okay. Alright, he was upsetty, but now he's not. Oh. Yeah, I think we're mad. Oh. Catch you. And off you go. Okay, oh, I would say this is <laughs> good thing you chose the right way bathroom. <laughs> My sense of direction came back for a brief moment. Oh, not the fog. Oh no, was that a thing? Uh, what? I don't like that. I don't know. So, did he say to take out the camera? He did. Oh no, what I've done this part of the game where literally you have this little thing. That's the tree, the white tree there. Oh. Okay, by the way, maybe we should, like, save, like, here, just in case we need to start over. Yes. Good idea. Yeah, I started doing that in Baldur's Gate 3. I am a, a scum saver, or whatever the heck my friend called it. <laughs> like, where, like, if, if I, I don't get the outcome I want, I will just reload again. And I, I will probably... Oh, that's not scary at all. Whoa. Death. Alright, dog. I'm glad you have done this part before. Mm, partially. I got stuck. Stick together, bullet. I got like. I don't want to lose you in this fog. <laughs> Shush, don't dog. bark! Don't bark, don't bark. I feel like I'm playing uh, a lethal company and I have to keep myself. Oh, there's autosave right there. Oh, oh crap. That's never a good sign. Hey, oh. Shut up! Ellis, you're careful now, Ellis. Your little flash might won't help you. I don't need your help. I'm just worried about the dog. The dog's still close Whoa, to you, right? What's that? What's that? Is that the sign? The sign? What the heck? What the hell? Oh. <laughs> he no, it's a, a literal sign! A sign. <laughs> oh wait, but that's... <sighs> Whoa! I did not like that. What I didn't either. 
so close to you? He is, Get right? Away. Let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. No, that, that oh. is... Oh, 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 oh. What is it? I hate it. The shuffle dance. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Get away from Matter, buddy. What do you think's the matter, Ellis? Oh Ellis, you're and the dumb, the working. dumbest protagonist goes too. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the sign he was talking about? <gasps> that scared me. Is the dog still with you? Here, bro. I'm just gonna keep asking that just because I'm scared he's gonna wander off. See what it was. <laughs> what the heck? Yes, we listened. We're following your dumb signs. Oh my gosh. Maybe we don't kick those things over? I think kicking the thing over is part of the story. I know you're there. Oh, got it. Oh, yeah, obviously. Oh, careful now, Ellis. Careful now, Ellis. arguing about um like there was a group of them arguing about what what a human or like what a what a mammal was or something right or what a man is what a man is and they said uh something about like it's a hairless bipedal thing, creature right and so i forget which philosopher it was do you remember i, I forget too yeah. and they they burst in one time with a chicken that had been plucked clean, with like a dead chicken that had been plucked clean, mm -hmm. and went, BEHOLD A MAN! <laughs> <laughs> Those philosophers get salty sometimes. They really do. Dude, one of my favorite ones is the guy who lived, like, in a barrel, like, and he was homeless, and, like, he made, made a point of living an extremely simple life, and was making the point that, like, you know, humans should live that way, and, um... Carver, how can you 
you see us? How do you know we need to go left? Yeah, seriously. Pull it. Zip it. Let hoosh. Anyways, uh, I think it was Alexander the Great who... Uh, he, he visited this... Oh, 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 get away from that thing. He coming. What the hell is that thing? I don't know. I thought the tree was one of them. Quiet dog hope. Please be the one more step in the sea. I'm trying to go to the tree. What do you want me to do? Seriously, Carver. He reminds me of like a coworker that's like trying to help and is just making everything worse. It's like, hey, Link, listen. Hey, hey, <laughs> listen, hey, hey. It's like a really twisted knobby character. Yes. We're trying to freaking do this thing. I do not understand the mechanics of this, I'm not gonna lie. There's the tree, we'll see if we can Now this is okay, now this from now on, I don't know what's going to happen. Cause this is as far as I've gotten in the game. Okay, good to know. Okay. Let's but anyways, I think it was Alexander the Great who visited this philosopher, and he said, if I was not Alexander the Great, like, I would wish to be this guy. And then the guy, the philosopher replied, if I was Alexander the Great, I would also wish the same thing. That's fair. Oh my gosh. So yeah, bullets One. still got, still there, right, with you? Yes. I'm in a cutscene, I can't really call him right now, unfortunately. Oh, that makes sense, okay. Ew, the tree's like bleeding. Ew, and not like sap. What, what the, the heck is that? Hey, hey Psycho, Psycho, what, what the, the hell, hell is this? This, this thing bleeds. to the time where we yeah it's about stop. it's about time to stop this episode and we're gonna go to the next one yes so the adventure shall continue when we next see you and yeah yeah until next time 